Alright, good evening everyone. Welcome back to another challenge. This is round two of our five round challenge. Uh, thank you for everyone that uh, watched and voted round one. Reggie kind of uh, stole the show with that one with her little uh, trio of flowers. Came out really nice. So tonight, this is going to be my attempt at a sunflower. So what I'm going to be using is I've got some uh, some Craft Smart and some Artist Loft purples mixed together with Craft Smart black to make a really deep purple for the center of the flower, and then I have Craft Smart yellow that I'm going to be using for the outside, and then I'm going to run some black around the edges for the base. I'm going to be using Master's Touch Titanium white. And I'm going to be using a little bit of this uh, Craft Smart Aqua. So we're going to see. I've never, I've never done a sunflower before, so we'll see how this goes. And uh, hopefully it works out. My first attempt at a sunflower and just bring you in let you get a close look let you kind of take all of that in and it's wonder and glory it uh, it was fun and frustrating all at the same time but I didn't stop I kept going and this is the result. Welcome back to the second night of the husband and wife flower challenge. And I'm just gonna call tonight 
new flower night because Trevor and I have both decided to try techniques we haven't tried before. So usually when you see us paint um, for our challenges, they're things that we've done before, uh, a technique that we've done before, maybe not a certain look. Um, so tonight we're just throwing all caution to the hot muggy wind and we're just gonna go for it. And it's a very special day because today we hit the 100 subscriber mark. So thank you all. And I'm just gonna dive right in. Okay, so I made a plate. We'll call it purple lasagna. So it's got this dark purple, like a more, less dark purple, and then this peach, and then repeated those. And what I was going to try tonight for the first time ever on not live TV wah, 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 is a string pull. And the only string, because I don't sew or do crafts like that, the only string we had was this green, what is it, like yard, yard twine? And so guys, look, I had the bright idea because I did like a little, not a test, but like I, I wanted to see how it moved through paint and it was pretty stiff. So I decided to soak it in a cup of water and it bled green. So that was probably not the best, but I'll probably have green throughout my painting. I'm gonna let that sit in there for a minute. Okay, so probably should not do this with gloves, but it's pretty pigmented stuff. So I'm just gonna use this craft stick to push it, push the string down into the paint. And based on other YouTube videos that I've watched, my goal here is to saturate the string and maintain its color. All right, Trevor, now I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it in a pattern on here. consultant over here is telling me that it is perfect so we definitely learned some lessons tonight um, but you got to see us try two new techniques that we have never tried before and I think both paintings came out really lovely all right guys this is it this is my finished purple tulips <laughs> um, using a string pull method it uh, it didn't come out exactly like I had hoped I had a few few uh, issues got a little messy with the uh, the paint and um, I can't really tell if I like the the ones that I did with the water <laughs> more than the dry ones, but 
this is it. So thank you for being with us on this journey. We are having a lot of fun and we hope that you're having as much fun as we are watching us. And uh, be sure to hit that like button and share with your friends.